Hey guys, Callie Fab here, and today I want to let you guys know some brands that I want to try in 2018. I'm not doing like an 8 and 18 thing like everybody else is doing. I just want to let you guys know some brands that I'm looking to try out this year or hoping to try out this year. I want to at least get to half of them. I'm not sure how well I'm going to do, but I'm going to try. So here are all of the brands that I would like to try in 2018. So the first brand I want to try that I've never tried anything from is Jeffree Star. I know that he's like super hyped up with his brand and stuff like that, but I really want to try one of his eyeshadow palettes, one of the androgyny palettes maybe that's what it is i don't know i will post a picture up here of the palette that i want to try and also i would like to try his lipstick formula but i want to try a lipstick and an eyeshadow palette from him and i don't think that would be too overly expensive but those are some products that i want to try from jeffree star another brand that i really really want to try and i've been wanting to try them for about two years now is zoeva so zoeva is more of an indie brand and it's really not sold anywhere that you can really get it from except for online and i've even heard that now it's really hard to purchase it online and bring it to the states so i'm not really sure if i'm able to get my hands on it i think i'll be able to i don't really mind paying a higher shipping because i have heard that the zoeva eyeshadows are amazing so i really really want to try an eyeshadow palette from zoeva another brand that i've heard not really like a lot of reviews on, but I've heard a lot of people mention the brushes when they're doing like a makeup tutorial or something. I've heard a lot about Smith brushes and I've never even like really looked up the product or anything like that. So I really want to try some Smith brushes. I've heard people say all the time, this is the Smith whatever number that they're using and i really want to just get like a few eyeshadow brushes from them i have a few missing links in my um, eyeshadow brush collection and it's kind of bugging me because i want a few of these and i just don't have them so i'm thinking of purchasing them from smith so that's one brand i also want to look into to try for 2018 a big brand that came out a year and a half ago she's actually a youtuber here on youtube and she does beauty videos she has her own nail polish line and you guys already know who i'm talking about kathleen lights i really want to try kale polish so last year at the end of the year she had a little sale going on i actually don't think i got any of these on sale but i purchased four different nail polish colors so let me get them out for you so these are the four colors that i purchased from her to try out i have not tried any of them yet this one is in cassiopeia and it's like a black with like a glittery to it i'm really excited about that one this one's a white nail polish in coconut milk. And as you guys can see, I have white on my nails right now. I'm trying to use up one of my other white nail polishes before I break into this one. So I'm really excited about this one. Then I have Graham. This is from her newer line. And it's like a, like a tan gray. Like I just, I love this type of shade. I have an Essence nail polish in more of a gray tone, but this is like a more tan beigey gray. I'm really excited to try this one as well. And the last one that I got is Mozart, and it's like a very, just like a real like purple. Like when you hear the color purple, this is the color that I think of. So this is the last one that I want to try, but Honestly, if I like these, I might end up picking up more of them, but I have so many nail polishes and I have two that I'm actually project panning right now. So I want to get a few more out of my collection before I purchase more. So that way my nail polishes aren't going bad and that way I don't have to declutter them. I like using nail polishes, but I don't want them to go bad. So I am going to try out Kale Polish this year for sure. I'm so excited. Another like indie type brand that I've heard not a lot about, but enough to get me interested and intrigued is Beauty Bakery. So they have like, I looked at, I've looked at their website a million times going to buy stuff and then I never end up like hitting the buy button. But basically like they have like tons of different stuff, but like 
bakery related so like their setting powder is like flour like and it comes in like a flour bag i don't know it's like so cool i know kalani hilliker from dance moms and i watched that a ton when i had cable and she has like a lipstick collab that I want to pick up and there's a few different other like little odds and ends type of products that I really want to try from Beauty Bakery and I think that would be like such a fun brand to just try out and test out for you guys and to see if I like any of them. I don't know and maybe do like a full product review just because I haven't really seen much at all on Beauty Bakery and I'd like to see more but I want to get my own opinion on it as well. So that's one brand that I think would be super, super fun to try and just to test out and play with and smell because apparently they smell amazing. I don't know. I'm really excited to try it out and that's one brand I will definitely be trying out in 2018. Another brand that I want to try out this year in 2018 and it launched actually last year in 2017 is Fenty Beauty. I have not tried one single item from Fenty Beauty. So I know I'm getting a lipstick from my last purchase from Sephora. I actually used 100 Point Perk to get a Fenty Beauty like little mini lipstick to try out and I'm going to try that out this year and see what I think. One product that I want to try, or I guess two products that I want to try from a brand that I have tried products from is MAC. So MAC Cosmetics is obviously a popular brand, but I've never really purchased any MAC Cosmetics items. I just, I don't know, I just haven't done it for one reason or another, but now that they're at Ulta, it's making it more intriguing for me to purchase from them because then I can get my Ulta points and stuff. But I really, really, I've mentioned this before, I know I have, I want to try Velvet Teddy from the lipstick line from MAC. Oh, I want to try it so bad and every time I'm shopping at Ulta I like put it in my cart and then I don't make the purchase and I don't know why but I really think I want to try Velvet Teddy. Another product from MAC that I really want to try is MAC Soft and Gentle. I know it's like a cult favorite, cult classic, everyone's tried that, everyone loves it. Nobody literally says anything bad about it but I haven't purchased that and I don't like I said, it's the same thing. Like I don't really know why. There's nothing really stopping me from purchasing it other than the fact that, um, you know, they just came to Ulta and I didn't want to purchase specifically on the MAC website. But I think I really want to pick up MAC Soft and Gentle. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. Those were all of the brands or products with brands, yeah, that I want to try in 2018. I'm really excited about the KL Polish since I already purchased it. I'm really excited to try that one, but I want to try at least half of these items from these brands that I've mentioned because I really think it's important to broaden my horizon when it comes to makeup because I really enjoy it. I talk about it here on my channel. I talk about it with my friends and I think it's important to be able to compare things to different brands and say, look, this brand's a lot cheaper, but it's exactly like this other brand or, you know, whatever. And honestly, some of the brands like Beauty Bakery, I don't hear talked about very much at all. So I want to inform you guys here too on YouTube if it's a brand that you guys should definitely check out or to stay far away from. So let me know in the comments below which brands or which items that you guys specifically want me to do a review on this channel about. And I can do that for you guys, especially like I said, the ones that you know people don't really talk about much or maybe they don't talk about much anymore and I can definitely do that pick up a few items from brands that I've been really wanting to try especially like the Smith brushes beauty bakery you know the brands that are talked about but not really in a full video about and I can do that I'm super super excited to get to know some new brands this year and to try a few different types of things out and I hope you guys all have a wonderful day or night wherever you are and I will see you all in the next one bye